Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chris here at PSNStores.com again, giving you a gameplay glimpse this time at Hollywood Squares. Yeah! Uh, this is another game show game brought to you by Lydia. Um, I don't know how much of you actually watched of Hollywood Squares, but it's just an elaborate game of tic-tac-toe where, uh, <laughs> where uh, celebrities, usually in the, the actual game show, there's celebrities for every square, but in uh, this video game version, they've only had... I guess the asset, the the room or the assets or whatever for just the center square. And there's a couple celebrities you might remember from such shows as Life. Or, uh, Everybody Loves a Raymond. There's Brad Garrett. Uh, Kathy Griffin is on here. Um, who else is here? Uh, Je Jeffrey Tambler from um, Arrested Development. All that sort of stuff. So I'll hop on the online first. Um, some basic options here there's nothing fancy but uh, so yeah the online game handles itself pretty much the same way that the single player game does um, you go against your opponent in a game of tic-tac-toe where you have to answer whether or not you think the person giving the response is correct or not in their answer um, for the celebrities they will have a video clip that shows them answering the question but um, for everyone else on the board, it is just like reading text and, oh man, that sounds really wrong. Or, oh, maybe that's right. See, the thing about the actual game show is where when you're actually listening to someone speak it, it sounds a lot more convincing in their answer when you think that they're right, even if they're wrong. So that's a little bit of a drawback in converting this into an actual video game where you don't have a full board of celebrities with video clips to say their things. So we've got Jeff the Tambler. So the only thing different between um, single player and multiplayer is there's no bonus round at the end for winning. Once you win, you win. So I'm going to start it off here. Jeffrey Tambor. Let's bish. When Pamela Anderson complained to Jane Magazine about an article they did on her, what did the magazine give Pam to make her feel better? A year's subscription. Really? <laughs> It's a good magazine. Yeah. A general amnesty. <laughs> I'd like to buy a vowel. No. <laughs> I would imagine they gave her um, some sort of apology. How do you feel about that answer? So you can see it's pretty elaborate for... Uh... It's pretty elaborate for the, the non-computer um, players. The actual celebrities have some pretty long, in-depth answers there. And you can see he, he looked pretty convincing when he said that. So you'll notice whenever I answer one of these other ones, it's just like, oh, yeah, that's totally wrong. Mm -hmm. Yep. So as I mentioned before, the basic gameplay here is to get tic-tac-toe. So you get three in a row and you win. This is a $9 or $10, sorry, in the U.S. store. Where do I want to go? Let's do Kathleen. Kathleen, which email related term comes from a Monty Python comedy sketch? Do you agree or disagree that it be spam? Yes. Circle, pick your square. See now his his option now is to block with Matthew probably. One thing that um, is a little different is there. Uh, there is voice. Oh, sorry to mention. There is voice chat. Uh, you can talk to your opponent while you're playing. So I'm not doing that right now because I'm trying to record this video and it's kind of hard to talk. And Matthew for the block. Oh, Got blocked it. me. God damn. Which square X? Michelle. If I get this, I pretty much win. Movie, oh man, I have no Abby clue. Barry had what job? Do you think that's a block? Agree or she was a journalist. God damn it. Where are you going to play? Now he can win. So yeah, it helps to be up on your pop culture, it seems. <laughs> so I kinda wish there was something you could do here while the other person was going, because you can't really see their questions. 
So it's kind of funny though because you can hear the question sometimes whenever you're Kevin playing. For the win. Ah, he won. The square, wins the round, and so uh, as you can see, there is full voice for all the the question round. reading and stuff. You, you don't have to actually read them yourselves. DJ Naylor is not not pleased. So let's listen to Jeffrey Tamler again. Because most of them are scams, what kind of ads do the Better Business Bureau say they get the most complaints about? Oh, I know about this because I, I, I once had a problem with baldness. Um, <laughs> um, Somebody lost it. It's either fertility or baldness, and I get those two mixed up in my life all the time. I, I, I would say uh, baldness. Do you know the answer? Nice work. Oh, sniff Where it. Do you want to play circle? So I guess the game is pretty faithful to the actual game show, just I don't really think that this is a fun game show to play. <laughs> it's more of one to watch and get the entertainment from the the celebrities and seeing how there's a lack Nancy, of celebrities you got it. Uh, it just makes the game a little bit like less square, of what it could be i guess Kathleen, i don't know if it's a licensing issue or that sort of stuff to win an academy award do you agree or disagree? sure that was janet Hayner. awesome nice i was work. right <laughs> the board is yours circle um i don't believe there's a demo out anywhere so you have to take our review and this video is your best guess at what this game is like. It seems like it could be a little bit of fun to play in a party setting, but it's only two people, so you have to swap in and out if you're doing that sort of stuff. Matthew, a lot of waiting here. Nice work. Oh, blocked me. Damn. X, pick your square. Where should I go? Where should I go? Right Rhonda. here. Come on, Rhonda, don't Danny do me wrong. I don't know. What? Choice, sure, he was in Greece. You're right. <laughs> nice. Which square, circle? So I'm going to end the video right now. This is uh, Hollywood Squares. It's out now on the U.S. PlayStation Store for $10. There is no demo. Uh, check out the website for the review if you're not already reading it after watching this or whatever. Uh, be sure to check at the PSNstores.com for more PSN game news and reviews. Thanks.